According to her son, Vincent Mwigai Waidhaka, Nyambura was forcefully evicted in May last year after receiving compensation for crops uprooted from her land. A succession dispute later ensued, blocking her from receiving her full land compensation, a matter her son says took a few months before it was resolved. To Kansa case, Jushamba Irikuwa Yamze, to Kanda Ukona, to Kabadisha Majina, Iriwe Yamamangu. Na tukamaliza hiyo mambo yote mwezi wa saba. Kutoka mwezi wa saba, hadhi wata wanakuwa wakisema, watatulipa hii pesa bada ya wiki mbili. Saa tumefumiria, tukafumiria, mpaka dakika ya mwisho. The situation, her siblings say, has caused her frequent illness among them high blood pressure, which she developed on the night she was evicted. Tangu nizaliwa mamangu waja lazwa kwa hospitali. Ndiwa lipatwa na shukari, alafu pressure ikapanda sasa tulikuwa tumeonelea juu hii pesa mwaka imeisha tuanze hii maneno ndio tulikuja tukafunga hapa ndio pesa yetu tupatiwe Today, the Chinese nationals moved to put up structures on the land. Distraught Nyambura alongside her children and locals barricaded the gate that leads to her property, resulting in a heated exchange. Wewe ukipatia mtu saba, si unampatia taito yake? Sasa tu ile wapatia taito zetu. Sasa ndio wagayanya nini? Shamba. Sasa wakati wa kuganya saba, hawakutuletea taito. Si tunataka taito zetu. Ndio alafu tujue sasa wakisigila kwao na si tusigila kwa kwetu. Sasa umeja kuzingila kwa zindio? Na sisi kwa tuanji. Atu uta kubali kabila watu wajuletea, watatuletea kaiteta ito didi. Atu uta kubali, hata kesho minta utakua hapa. It took the intervention of Chief Area Joshua Kirongo to persuade the disgruntled elderly woman to allow the project to continue after she was assured of her payment before the end of next week. Contacted for a comment, an official from Athi River Water and Services, who declined to be mentioned, however, insisted that Nyambura's pay would be credited to her bank account soon. Si tutaka hapa, mpaka hawa kubwa wa Lord Commission, wakuja watuambie kama watalipa hiyo pesa, tuwane wametuma pesa setu, watupatie, diyo tukubali wa ingie. Construction of the 24 billion shillings dam expected to boost water supply in parts of Kiambu and Nairobi has been characterized by frequent delays over land compensation and employment disputes. Once complete, the project will serve an additional 850,000 people in Ruiru, Juja and parts of Nairobi. Robi Omondi, K24 Evening Edition.